Brazil's central bank held its key interest rate steady for the sixth straight meeting as inflation forecasts run above target, brushing off President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva's pressure for looser monetary policy. The bank's board unanimously kept the CELIC unchanged at 13.75% late on Wednesday, as expected by all but one analyst in a Bloomberg survey who forecast a quarter point cut. Policymakers led by Roberto Campos Mato have been on hold since September after a tightening cycle that added 11.75 percentage points to borrowing costs. Uh, as the board is known, um, made a small concession by softening its hawkish language uh, since September by now saying a new rate increase is less likely. Uh, even emphasizes that uh, although a less likely scenario, it will not hesitate to resume the tightening cycle if the disinflationary process does not proceed uh, as expected, it said in a statement accompanying the decision. Uh, the committee judges that the current scenario demands patience and serenity in the conduct of, of monetary policy. Uh, and uh, annual inflation has eased significantly in Latin America's largest economy, uh, with consumer price rises falling back within the central bank's tolerance range in early April. Uh, still last year's tax cuts, which resulted in three months of deflation, are keeping those prints temporarily lower. And core measures stripping out uh, the most volatile items, like energy and food, uh, are running hot. Uh, most analysts are um, um, betting cost of living increases will pick up uh, going forward. Uh, most uh, Brazil was one of the first emerging markets to raise borrowing costs in the aftermath of the pandemic, uh, reversing course with aggressive tightening after taking rates to a record low of 2%. Uh, uh, Lula has been pushing for borrowing cost cuts since taking office in January. Uh, in hopes of boosting activity and delivering on his promises of economic prosperity uh, on MEFA. So he again blasted the monetary authority uh, saying uh, current interest rates fail to curb inflation but instead drive unemployment. And uh, his criticism spilled over in two hours long hearings before lawmakers last week when Campos NATO defended the decision to hold borrowing costs steady saying a uh, sustainable monetary easing cycle man requires credibility. Rate cuts now make no sense. Uh, Mauricio Orang, um, uh, head of economic research at Banco Santander SA, uh, said before uh, today's decision, um, and our policymakers are drawing more focused on expectations for 2024 when they'll target inflation of 3%. Economists surveyed by the central bank see Consumer price increases next year, 4.18%. Oh, Lewis government also hoped the presentation of a plan to shore up public finances would justify rate cuts. The bill intended to replace the spending cap is expected to be debated in Congress and put to initial votes late next week. Um, after getting a warm welcome from investors, the plan suffered changes that stoke concerns about how feasible it will be to raise revenues as forecast. Uh, uh, central bankers have publicly highlighted the efforts of Finance Minister Fernando Haddad in spearheading the proposal uh, while warning there's no mechanical relationship uh, with lower interest rates. Um, Brazil's decision came hours after the Federal Reserve raised interest rates by a quarter percentage point and hinted it was maybe the final move in the most aggressive type